big smile for the guy who in the past year has had those jaw-dropping knockout wins on Heisman nights. His last visit here to MSG wasn't as sensational. He was heard on camera asking with doubt, do I still have it? And spending time with him this week as he makes his way through the crowd. He feels very confident that he does indeed still have it. That joyful bounce that boxing, he says, brings him. There has been a hefty dose of shocking comments in the lead up to this fight from Tiafimo. Discussing the one thing every fighter avoids discussing, death. But he was consumed by it with so many of his comments that he wouldn't walk back. Saying at one point he wanted to kill Josh Taylor. Nor would he walk back comments of avoiding the realities of his own fight. But he says this is the place that makes all the distractions go away. Boxing to his core is how he centers himself. Twenty-five-year-old from Brooklyn, New York. Michael Griffin, the referee who was assigned to this bout. He's had many big assignments. This place is what did explode. And by the way, yes, it's Tio's backyard, but the Scots traveled very well to come support their world champion. He takes great pride in his country and culture, as you will now see. As the Red Hot Chili Pipers will lead the way for Josh Taylor. trunks with that similar font that his idol the Scottish legend Ken Buchanan the late Ken Buchanan fought with at MSG here comes the chance Big story in New York this week was that red haze smoke that blew in from the north. The other story is this tartan tornado coming in from Scotland. And you can feel the energy that he has collected. We are ready. World title on the line between Lopez and Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside the world's most famous arena. We're in the theater here at Madison Square Garden. This is boxing, this is Top Rank. Presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. Brought to you this evening by Boost Mobile, Money is Power, by AutoZone, Get In The Zone, by Bud Light, the official beer of celebrations, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app today. We are sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission Executive Director, Kim Sumbler, Director of Boxing, Matt Delaglio. Your physicians at ringside, Dr. Sherry Belmonte, Dr. Avery Brown, 
Dr. Richard Chang, Dr. Jennifer Galjou, and Dr. Mike Lenahan. Your timekeepers this evening, Lisa Mendez, Yvonne Williams. Your judges at ringside, Steve Gray, Joe Pasquale, and Benoit Roussel. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Michael Griffin. And now to everyone in attendance here inside the theater at Madison Square Garden. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds for the WBO and Ring Magazine Junior Welterweight Championships of the World. And as always, this is boxing. This is top rank. And oh, baby, this is the main event. Introducing first out of the Bud Light Blue Corner. He weighed in at 140 pounds. His trunks are blue with white. His record, 18 victories with only one defeat. 13 victories coming by way of knockout. He is a 2016 Olympian. He is the former Ring Magazine, Lineal, WBA, IBF, WBO, and WBC franchise lightweight king. He is the current WBO number one junior welterweight contender from Brooklyn, New York. The takeover, Teofimo Lopez. <laughs> Introducing out of the red corner. He weighed in at 139.8 pounds. His trunks tartan. He's a 2012 Olympian. His record, perfect. 19 fights, 19 victories. 13 of those victories coming by way of knockout. In 2021, he became the undisputed champion of the world. Having never tasted defeat, he is still the reigning and defending WBO and Ring Magazine Junior Welterweight Champion of the World from Preston Pans, Edinburgh, Scotland, the Tartan Tornado, Josh Michael Griffin, the referees, worked many high-pressured fights. Was here at MSG back in 2014 on this weekend, Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend, when Cotto floored Martinez. You men receive my instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, men. We're boxing the belt. God bless you both. Teofimo Lopez, those eyes of his have told us so much through the years, so many different stories. At one point, sparkle and excitement of a young rising star, back then he was known as the takeover. And more recently, the worry and doubt of a former champ trying to climb a new mountain. And of course, Josh Taylor, opposite him, an incredibly focused champion who's had enough of the threatening talk of Teofimo, who said, I'm spiting my punches tonight. We'll see who ends up in the back of an ambulance. Here we go for the world title. Taylor and Lopez. Josh Taylor trying to stay unbeaten and retain his status as king of the junior welterweights. Dre, what are you looking for early? I think Taylor needs to get off to a good start to get the rhythm going. He's been off and to send a message to Teo. Try to start getting him behind, hitting him with those left hands, the straight ones, the overhand lefts. So Teo starts taking unnecessary chances. And for Teofimo Lopez, he's got to think boxing first and let the power do what it typically does. You mentioned the layoff for Josh Taylor, something we will look for to see how he comes out, how he starts 16 months away, whether it was injuries or scheduling conflicts and then postponements and then eventually just scrapping the plan for a rematch with Catterall and getting right to Lopez, the mandatory challenger. And you can notice the size difference. This is what everybody was talking about all week long. Yes, they got on the scale at 140, but notice how much bigger Taylor is tonight. But it all evens out at the end of the day. Taylor is thicker, might be stronger, we'll see. But yes, Taylor has 
the advantage in height. Tails not a guy who's going to throw a lot of punches. Very explosive. Oh, good shot right there from, Lo from Taylor. Left hand comes in from Taylor, and then they exchange on the inside once he got that real estate. And now Taylor comes in with another left hand against Lopez. Yes, he won that exchange for sure. So good work halfway through round number one for Josh Taylor. But that's the start that he needs to have. Quick right hand from Tiafimo. Can allow Tiafimo, like I said, who doesn't throw a lot of punches, start to get comfortable and start to line Josh Taylor up. Trying to pop that right hand off the hip. Now he comes in with a two-punch combination. Short, cupping left hand on the inside. Left hook from Tiafimo. Tried to split the guard and goes underneath as Griffin was coming in for the break. And already a warning from Michael Griffin about pushing down when he's on the inside. Counter from Taylor that just grazed the body and the glove of Tiafimo Lopez. Trying to wrap around with that left hand to the body. I think one of the biggest mistakes that Tiafimo Lopez makes is he only throws a jab when he's trying to come behind it with a big shot. He's got a lot of dead spots that he could pick up with a left hand, but he just doesn't use it consistently. There is a cut on the left side. It looks like just inside the left side of the nose towards the eye of Tiafimo, but it's not at or above the eye, so it should not be a concern. We will monitor that. Coming to the end of round number one, Taylor and Lopez. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the most requested items in homeless shelters. Bombas was founded to help, so for everyone you buy, we donate one. One purchased, one donated. It's a tangible act of kindness for those who need it most. Distributed by 3,500 giving partners across all 50 states. And with 100 million donations and counting, the impact is real. Visit Bombas.com and get 20% off your first order. I've shaved every day for 20 years. A couple times a week? Just for special occasions. Shaving gets me ready for my day. I feel more confident clean shaven. But I'm tired of overpaying for a close shave. With Harry's, I don't have to. Harry's offers five blade closeness and comfort. It's got all the features that I love. And refills cost as low as $2 each. Only half of what I paid before. It's a premium shaving experience without the premium price tag. Go to harrys.com slash TV to claim your $5 trial. As Tiafimo Lopez, Dre, just got off the stool to start round number two, his father said, just figure him out. He said, I got him. I got him. In that first round, Josh Taylor slightly got the best of Tiafimo Lopez, landing 11 total punches, 10 of which were power punches, and 11 to 8 overall connect advantage. Lopez has to show that if he can't land those big shots with that first step like we just saw him miss a few seconds ago, that he's got something else in his bag and in his arsenal because Taylor seems to be ready for those big arm slots from Teofimo Lopez. Bernardo. Teofimo Lopez's cut man, Rich Hill, just told me it's not a cut. It's just an abrasion on the top layer of the skin. So nothing to be concerned with. Good sneaky left hook from Lopez as Taylor came in. Lopez has the speed advantage. Watch those front feet, of course, always with Southpaw versus Orthodox fighters who can get the edge to the outside position. Ooh, good shot right there from Lopez. Lopez caught him coming in that time. Taylor felt that for sure. Very explosive, Tiafimo Lopez. Very explosive. With both hands. Yeah. Watch your head. Nearly a clash of heads. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch. There's a body shot from Taylor. Lopez. We're going to come through the front door. He does so with a two-punch combination. Taylor looking to deliver on the inside. Left hook came in from Lopez. Good exchange. 
And then Taylor separates with the jab, that southpaw jab. Came wide with the left hand. That was a glancing blow, didn't hit flush. Not a lot of room for air from either fighter early in this fight test. Both fighters throwing hard shots that if, if they land in the right spot for either guy will cause damage. Right lead from Lopez. Tried to time that right hand as Taylor came forward. Back to the jab for Lopez. left hand closes it out our punch of the night is brought to you by AutoZone and Dre it came from Xander Zayas scoring the early knockdown against Ronald Cruz beautiful right hand great early success for Xander Zayas in that punt in that fight just a good counter shot the opponent came with a lazy left hand and he paid for it with a straight right hand Zayas went on to win a unanimous decision. He's now 16-0. In that second round, Josh Taylor, you see him there, was 10 of 31 punches. Lopez was 10 of 44, so Lopez picked up his work rate. Let's go back and see that left hand from Tiafimo. Lopez, very explosive with every shot that he throws. Good counter. His feet were in the right place. His eyes was on the, was on the target, and he just turned the shot over, and he landed a good one. Straight left hand from Josh Taylor to open up. Oh, and as Lopez was seated nearly on that white rope and Griffin was coming in for the break, a punch was thrown. This was a concern for Team Lopez. Oh, and he said, hey, touch him up. I'm going to throw that southpaw jab while I'm doing it. Remember, protect yourself at all times. Cut throws Tiafimo off balance. That's a slip. So he threw the right uppercut and slipped. That's what Josh Taylor needs to continue to do is faint as often as he can to get Lopez out of position just enough to land his own shots. He can't pose and then leap in because Lopez will counter. It's a counter left hook. In round number two, that got Taylor's attention. There's a straight right, straight left hand from the Southpaw World Champion. On the inside, tried to go underneath with the uppercut. Once again, the warning from Griffin about pulling okay, down the head. He's got to really watch that because if you got a guy like Lopez that ducks down and comes up with punches, I'm not going to sit there and wait for him to do it. That's correct. In that instance, unlike others, some of that is on the fault of Lopez for ducking under on the way inside. If you duck your head, I'm going to press down on you and make the referee do his job. This isn't amateur boxing. Two-punch combination from Tiafimo. Again, the Good blood that you right see there. is just an abrasion, not a cut. Body shots are letting me know that Taylor's not just focused on the head, but also the body. Lopez seems to be focused just on the head at the moment. Good Taylor 48% right to the body right now. Taylor needs to take advantage after every time Lopez leaps in and he makes contact, he needs to answer Tiafimo Lopez because Lopez wants to rest. Taylor can't allow him to do that. Left hand comes in again from Taylor. At times smothering on the inside against the smaller man. Ooh. Left uppercut from Tiafimo. 
Caught with the jab, came with the straight right. Straight right to the body never feels good. Denver Nuggets are one win away from their first NBA title. The NBA Finals, Game 5, Monday on ABC. Vision works. See the difference. Whoa! This is the all-new Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla from Papa John's. Bold Doritos Cool Ranch flavors with our signature flatbread style sandwich for the zestiest flavor mashup ever, only at Papa John's. Remember that incident that happened against the ropes when Lopez was halfway out of the ring and a punch was thrown before Michael Griffin, the referee, got fully in. And then the champ said, oh yeah, we'll touch him up and I'll throw a jab when you do that. It's not Taylor's job to referee this fight and say, oh, Lopez, you're out of position. His job is to protect himself at all times and to fight until the referee tells him otherwise. Our referee, once again, is Canada's Michael Griffin, lives in Montreal. He has been the referee for numerous big high-stakes fights. He didn't like the position that Lopez was in. He should have got in there in between the two fighters to make it clear. Taylor targeting that left hand. Oh, and a big shot comes in, and he does it off that rear foot, almost that rear hook by Taylor. Bernardo, what can you tell us in the corner? What are they saying? Gil Fimo's father told me this is a smart Gordo that was telling you about as we get another push here and on the other side Joe McNally was telling me I need more feints from Josh and I need him to be more active Joe McNally is in the corner of Josh Taylor he's a new trainer he was previously trained by Ben Davison but McNally gets the assignment for this fight the trainer for Taylor told him right you need more feints. Why is that important? Because it freezes Lopez, who's a big puncher. It keeps him off balance, and it allows you to land your shots. He also doesn't need to get caught up in the power game. Let, Ta let Lopez do that. Let your shots go. Build up points if you're Taylor. Tio trying to time that uppercut. Taylor having some effective moments just before that. Out of tension here at MSG. Of course, Josh Taylor went on such a streak, such a run to become an undisputed champion. Had that signature win against Regis Progre, who now is a belt holder himself at 140 pounds. And Progre is watching this fight and has chimed in on Twitter and noting the fact that Taylor is off to a good start. Good boxing from Lopez in the second half of this round. I think that's what he needs to do as well and stop standing in place, just looking for one shot. Use your natural ability. He's a good boxer. He just doesn't always show us. That was a point of emphasis yesterday when we met with him. Tiafimo comes in, two punch combination. He's had great success on the back half of this round that he's moving, giving angles and showing different looks. I'm talking about the, Lopez. The speed and athleticism that he possesses, the ability to box. Trying to create a little bit of separation. Taylor comes right back in with a three-punch combination. Sent off balance that time. Wasn't a clean punch that landed, but this is the kind of excitement and energy that Lopez can bring about as he jumps on him at the end of round four. Trainer tracks are brought to you by Corvo. Okay, he's throwing a 
singles and then you're allowing them to rest and then all nothing touching. He throws the singles, night side, push out, push, they slide in again and come. I want a bit more activity of you. I don't mean that by getting reckless out, okay? Everything the common is to work on. Wait, stay there, there, stay there, don't move. Good exchanges from both guys this last round and really throughout the fight. You see right here, that was a punch and Taylor's foot was caught on Lopez's foot. But a good finish to the last round. Beginning of round number five, Teofimo Lopez has a 46 to 37 connect advantage over the champion. He's thrown 159 total punches. Left hand comes in from Taylor. Punches last round. Lopez with a 17 to 8 connect advantage. Right, no punches, no punches. No punches. Step back. You gotta believe that Taylor's knocking off some ring rust. I believe it's been about 16 months since he's last been in the ring. That's right. But the problem is, is Lopez not going to wait around and let him do it. And that's the work rate. And there's a left uppercut that comes in from Tiafimo. He's also the younger fighter, Lopez. 25 years old to the 32-year-old Taylor. And you can hear the crowd, the support here. The Brooklyn fighter fighting at MSG where he has wowed the crowd before where he's also had a lot of drama good potty shot from Lopez good right counter from Taylor one to the head and one to the body Ooh, left hand right from, Taylor. from Taylor you can hear that short left hand when he had Tiafimo up against the ropes as well Right hand, Lopez with a viper strike. Not surprised, Taylor went right in front of Lopez, stood in front of him, and he posed, and Lopez took advantage. A short right hand on the inside as well there, as Taylor tries to smother him in that neutral corner. Lopez is a smart fighter. Don't talk about his IQ enough. Taylor cannot be that simple in front of a guy like this. Good work there as well, and then tried to dig underneath with the right hand. To the bell they go. Subway keeps up in their game. Break it down, Candace. Just look at the smashed avocado, made with only Haas avocado and sea salt. Ingredients like these make the Subway series elite. That avocado's got bravado. Try the Subway series menu. They'll taste as refreshed yet. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You coming to my after party? Wouldn't miss it. Want me to bring limes? <laughs> That'd be so helpful, Steven. Cuervo tradicional cristalino. Smooth as an edge. Layla is our messenger pigeon. This is crazy. You know what else is crazy? That SMS text you're about to send? It's wide open. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. It's the best idea ever. Oh, come on. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla was my idea. I did that. Don't play yourself. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. Genius. Tiafimo Lopez with a 59 to 45 connect advantage as we start round number six. Max and Mark, how do you have it? I got Lopez three rounds to two. I gave Taylor the first and the third, and Lopez the second, fourth, and fifth. Taylor landed the best two shots in the fifth. Lopez did most of the best work. I got Lopez up by a round. You're seeing why 
Taylor's a spiteful fighter, and you're also seeing Tiafimo's plenty strong enough to hang in at 140. And I will add that most of the ringside observers that we are chatting with here ringside see it very similarly with an edge early on to Tiafimo Lopez. Round number six. Right hand to the body from Lopez as Taylor tried to come back with that right hook. Taylor better stop walking to Lopez and then freezing right in front of him. Lopez is watching that and he's got the kind of power to turn your lights out. Yeah, you can see him waiting on that right hand. Taylor started off very good with his feints and his creativity. And now he's starting to go to sleep mentally. He can't afford to do that. The left hand as he cornered Tiafimo that time. You see the past few rounds for Lopez as he's been more productive. Taylor's landed flush on the chin of Lopez multiple times, and he's taken it well thus far. And I can say the same about Taylor from the punches of Lopez. And the T.O. chant has gone up here at MSG. Lopez has the kind of explosiveness and the kind of power that even when you block it, you know I don't want to get hit with that clean. He can make you keep your hands at home and, and make you hesitant where you don't want to throw. And we saw that in the first half of the fight with Lopez and Lomachenko. There's a shot that's straight low. So Josh Taylor is given the time. Time in! Box, guys. Quick, sharp reaction from Tiafimo. There's a left hand that came in in this round. Looks like there's a cut around the right eye of Tiafimo. And he hears the clap and hits the offense. And done. Can we just call my dad now? Oh. Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue is incredibly strong and versatile, even outdoors. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. I work at Lumi Deodorant, and I'm going to tell you how to get the best deal on Lumi. It's the starter pack. You pick two full-size deodorants, and you get two mystery items for free and free shipping. So now's your chance to try Lumi whole body deodorant with 72 hours of odor control. With the game time map, I paid 60% less than this guy. What? And it's not just sports tickets, it's also concerts. Performances too! Oh, come on! Download Game Time. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guarantee. I seriously hate bank fees, especially overdraft fees. That's why I love Chime. I don't get any monthly fees. With SpotMe, I can overdraft up to $200 fee free. Join me today and sign up at Chime.com. As we start round seven, Tiafimo Lopez Dre got off the stool early and started high stepping around the ring, showing a bounce in his step as he tries to pull the upset here and reclaim his status as a world champion, trying to become a two division world champion. He should feel good, Tess, because he got good momentum going into the back half of this fight and in the seventh round. And thus far, Taylor's had moments, but he's having fewer and fewer moments as the fight progresses. 16-month layoff. And power punches landed. See the high marks in round four and round five for Lopez. Gotta believe that down the stretch if the fight remains the same, that the activity of Lopez being consistent in fighting, being the younger guy, it has to favor him. Ooh, good shot right there on the way out the door for Lopez. As opposed to Taylor, who's older and who's been off and he's coming off of an injury.
not seeing that fire from Taylor that we saw in the first two rounds, three rounds. I'm not sure what that is, but it has to do a lot with the guy that's in front of him, Tiafimo Lopez. Good shot with the right hand in between punches from Tiafimo. That hurt Taylor. Backed him up, and it buzzed him. Trying to land that off balance left hand was Taylor, but a good moment halfway through round number seven for Tiafimo Lopez. But he did land it, and it's not it's not bothering Lopez at all. Now Taylor swarming in. And the free low goal, Josh. Let him go. Hey! If Taylor's not going to punch with both hands and do it with a conviction, he need not allow Lopez to get leverage by having his back to the ropes because he's, he's generating power and he's starting to counter Taylor like that. Taylor is falling asleep mentally. He's not making good decisions with a guy with this kind of power. He's got to remain creative, he's got to remain alert, and he's got to stay on point at all times. Because Lopez is looking for the shot. And you can see how Regis Progre has changed his tune in watching this fight. The other 140-pound champion saying, Tio's starting to warm up more. That happened many rounds ago where he started to take an edge in this fight. And now standing toe-to-toe -to -toe on the inside and a right hand lands. And look at the confidence from Tia Fimo. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Hi, my check engine light's on. Let's see what our free fix finder service says. And if you need help, we can refer you to a shop. That's an easy fix. The Subway Series is taking your favorite to the next level. Like the number 20, the Elite Chicken and Bacon Ranch, built with rotisserie-style chicken and double cheese. I love what I'm seeing here. That's some well-coached chicken. You done, Peyton? The Subway Series just keeps getting better. McGregor versus Chandler. 16 warriors battling for UFC glory. Beautiful. The ultimate fighter. New episodes Tuesday, only on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. Touching his goal, boom, I don't know, and goal again, two hands, son, two hands. See the instructions to Josh Taylor as he gets ready for round eight. Here's the right hand moments ago, Trey. It's a shot for Taylor, it's the money shot. If he doesn't leave with the left, he's going for that right hand. And it's right down the middle. It's the perfect shot to land against a southpaw and a southpaw who's falling asleep mentally. Good shot right there from Taylor. Josh Taylor has not had double-digit connects in a round since round number two. Meanwhile, steady, efficient, productive work from Tiafimo Lopez, who has overall an 82 to 58 connect advantage, according to CompuBox. Round number eight. Remember, all the late money, all the late surge was on the champion, Josh Taylor. Tiafimo Lopez came into this fight as a significant underdog, much the way he did a few years ago against then number one pound for pound, Vasily Lomachenko, on a night when he was crowned champion. I think Taylor needs to stop loading up and he just needs to touch Lopez to the body and to the head. Good shot right there. These right hands starting to get more and more of a reaction out of Taylor. But Taylor needs to get busy and stop trying to go power for power because Lopez is the is is that guy in that in that category. And thus far, Taylor hasn't gotten a response from Lopez, but Lopez has gotten a response from Taylor when he's landed. You can see Taylor complaining about that body shot, perhaps going a bit low as they fight on. Break, break, break! Don't push him, don't push him. I see a lot of confidence in the body language and in the face of Taylor right now. Extreme confidence, Drake. I don't see a lot of confidence from Taylor, but I see a lot of confidence from Lopez. Time that left-handed Taylor moments ago. You can see a little bit of damage to the 
right side of the face of Tiafimo. But to your point, we've been stepping over, taking angles, giving a wiggle to the hip. He's feeling it. This is the Tiafimo that everybody fell in love with stylistically on the way up on his rise to become a world champion. The more recent outings were a little uninspiring in his entry into 140 pounds, but the biggest lights, the biggest stage, tend to bring out the best in this guy. Not saying Taylor can't take the momentum back down the stretch, but I don't think things are going to get better for him on the back stretch of this fight. Unless he finds something in his bag that he hasn't shown thus far. Oh! That lunging shot from Tiafimo. We've seen that in the past when he's feeling it. And now look at this. Vintage Tiafimo. You don't throw this kind of shot in a fight unless you feel like you're in full control, you're feeling good, and you're having your way. And for Taylor, you can't get hit with that kind of shot. A leaping shot like that with Lopez being that far out, you get hit with it, you better have a counter on the back end. So far, Taylor has no answers for the flavor, for the skill, and the power of Tiafimo Lopez. Both feet off the ground, leaping forward with that lunging left hand. Punches thrown per round. You see Josh Taylor well off the mark, well below the junior welterweight average as well. Tio is in control right now. This from a fighter who this past December was asking, do I still have it? Bernardo. I just spoke with Joe McNally. He says, look, he has to get in a rhythm. Josh is allowing Tio Fimo to land one shot at a time, and he's got to keep his outside foot outside of Tio Fimo. How does he do that? How does he do that, Dre, to get into that rhythm, to find the place where he can have offensive success? Obviously, the southpaw stance, you always want to have that position Before with the outside Before I answer ball. that, Taylor just froze Lopez, excuse me, uh, Taylor, with an uppercut that hurt him, made him stand still, and he hasn't answered that big shot yet. Yeah, by the way, another glimpse of the hand speed differential. It's not going to be good for Taylor down the stretch. See if he will try to time that uppercut. That hurt him. He's not looking good. Two punch combination. And here comes Lopez. Right hand comes in from Tiafimo. He was looking for the lead left uppercut, trying to find something spectacular. The crowd, you can see everybody here at MSG on their feet, sensing it. The face of both fighters tells it all right now. Lopez is hunting in full confidence, and Taylor searching for answers while getting hit. I mean, that tells you all you need to see. The orthodox stance fighter, Tiafimo, throws a right hand, steps over, falls in, steps over with his right foot, and just simply stays there and looks at Taylor in complete control in his mind, bubbling over with confidence. You ask how Taylor can get into this fight. He's got to come behind his right hand, the right jab. He's got to let his shots go, and then be mindful because Lopez is coming back with a missile. Got to wake himself up, remind himself that he's in MSG and that he's fighting for all the marbles right now. Not all the belts, but for his reputation and everything. He's been off 16, 17 months. He's got to get it done tonight. But Lopez ain't making it easy. I think about the layoff oh. and I think about the stretch. Mean shot from Tiafimo Lopez. Half right uppercut. Oh, and the headshot comes. Sends Taylor back against the ropes. 
No answer from Taylor. How about this story that is unfolding with Tiafimo Lopez? Body shot comes in. Another big round for Tiafimo Lopez. See Lopez in full control, full confidence. Didn't land all those shots, but the last one landed. But what's more telling, it's not the punches that Lopez is landing. It's the fact that Taylor's not throwing anything in return. This is a prideful, confident guy who's used to having his way. I don't see that fire in his eyes. I don't see that competitiveness. I see a guy that's slowly starting to concede. Let's hear how the scorecards of Max and Mark read through nine. I gave Taylor the first and the third. I've given Lopez every other round. And by the way, the third was close. I got 88-83. Tiafimo Lopez comfortably in charge. We've never, ever seen Josh Taylor like this. I got Tiafimo winning one, two, three, four, five, six consecutive rounds. Me too. This, this is a fighter in Josh Taylor who had one of the most impressive stretches of wins to earn that undisputed status. He went through five fighters who had a combined record of 133 and 0. But time away from the ring clearly has not served him well. And a well-conditioned and incredibly inspired Tiafimo Lopez trying to silence doubters is opposite him. Looking as sharp and crisp, as fast and dynamic as he ever has. Taylor's got to decide right now how he wants to go Break, out. No punches. When is he going to be okay with when he wakes up tomorrow morning and reflects on this fight? He's got to let his hands go. You say, well, oh, he may get caught. Well, he's getting caught laying on the outside and watching and posing and taking pictures of Lopez. He needs to let his shots go in hopes that he can land something big. Regret hangs heavy. You got to live with it and you get these small windows of opportunity. And right now the window is closing as we're halfway through round number 10. It is closing for Josh Taylor. Undefeated, was undisputed, the lineal champion. He is the man in this division. And here is Tiafimo Lopez on the doorstep of becoming a two division world champion. Lopez looking for that one big shot. He should have a comfortable enough lead on the scorecards. Where he should he doesn't have to fight punch for punch with Taylor right now. The burden and the onus is on Taylor to make something happen. That's gonna play right into Lopez's game as he's looking for a big shot, preferably with the right hand. Could be a straight, could be an overhand, could be an uppercut. But he's watching, he's laying in wait, and he's looking for that perfect shot. Michael Griffin was given a warning, which he's given before, of pushing down. And in the midst of that warning, Taylor placed a body shot. Good straight right hand from Lopez. Reminded Josh Taylor that I'm here. You brought it up earlier, Dre, of do not discount the ring IQ and the boxing ability of Tiafimo Lopez. That has proven true. Look at the upper body head movement now against the ropes. He's a top amateur and been boxing for most of his life. And all the talk we heard all week long of I want to kill him and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then his father trainer yesterday said, we're going to box and we're going to show skill. A lot of good work from Tiafimo Lopez throughout this fight. His offense has really been his defense. He's done a little bit of everything, and he's shown a deep, bad, good, straight counter right hand right there from Lopez. Then he leaped. That's one of those, I'm, I'm going to do what I feel like doing kind of punches, and there's nothing Taylor could do about it. A flurry 
with the right hand landing on the end, changing up the speed and the cadence and the rhythm, keeping Taylor off balance. But power and explosiveness and accuracy has been the order of the day for Tiafimo Lopez. The championship rounds have arrived. And you could fill this theater at MSG with those who are doubting if Tiafimo Lopez at this stage, in this division, would be in position that he is right now, in control to claim the world championship at 140 pounds. Significant underdog, according to Vegas. Uninspiring last time out against a bigger man, a man who had a tremendous run to sit atop it. And now, desperation for Taylor. Josh Taylor. Bernardo. I just spoke with Joe McNally and I asked him, do you have a sense of urgency for Josh here? He says, no, if we win these next two rounds, we go back home with the belts. I would be surprised if that's the case, but then again, this sport and three judges often surprise me. I think Taylor needs a knockout to win. Now, again, we don't know what the judges are looking at, but Lopez has been piling up points. He's been landing the heavier shots, the more telling shots, the more accurate shots. He's been controlling the pace of this fight. Which is why you don't see Lopez in much of a hurry right now. He's taking this round off to finish strong on the 12th. Whenever Lopez picks up his offense, Taylor doesn't seem to have an answer. He did early in the fight, maybe in the first two to three rounds, but not past that point. Oh, he catches him with the right uppercut as Taylor was coming inside. That's the shot he's been looking for. Oh. And then goes to the body that time. Give me the uppercut to the chin over the straight stab to the body that Lopez just landed. Yeah, especially this deep into the fight. The second one doesn't feel good. And now you see more of the head movement and the swag and the style and the defensive prowess and confidence of Tiafimo. Yeah, why not? You're in control like this, why not? Why not put a little extra sauce on it? At this point, Lopez is doing what he wants to do, not what he's allowed to do. It's going to be fascinating to listen in to the corner of Taylor here after the report we just heard from Bernardo, where perhaps they don't sense the urgency that everybody else does. There's the right uppercut again, Dre. Followed by a left hook to the body from Lopez. Lopez hears the clap and turns it on, and Taylor's hanging on. Lopez is raising his hands at the end of 11. He's feeling it, folks. I need you to press him and stay on his chest and I punch him. The quick upper is what Lopez has been waiting for Taylor to make mistakes on all night. Just a half step back, boom. Flush on the chin of Taylor. He took it well, but you can't give up those kind of shots all night long. That's a lead uppercut. That's not really a punch you're supposed to throw, and it's a really hard punch to land. But Taylor's, I mean, Lopez has landed that shot all night long. Dre, do you remember October of 2020 when Tiafimo had the great win against then number one pound for pound Vasily Lomachenko? And when he came out for the 12th round, he said, I'm going all out. He landed 50 punches against Lomachenko in that final round. It was the most punches ever landed against Lomachenko in any round in Loma's career. Let's see if he applies the same acceleration down the stretch here to close out this one.
The crowd is loving what they are seeing out of Brooklyn's Teofimo Lopez. Is he two and a half minutes away from climbing back to the top of a mountain? Good defense from Lopez. Not State allowing up. Taylor to mount any offense in this last round. It's discouraging when you can't hit the target. And then you get oh, hit. Oh, he sets return. him off balance. Want to remind everybody that we will have the complete post-fight analysis and commentary and all the interviews on the State of Boxing exclusively on the ESPN app. Go to ESPN Plus immediately following the fight and we will have the State of Boxing. You'll hear from the fighters and we'll give you all the analysis. Taylor better be careful. He don't get knocked out in this last round. Oh, three-punch combination, including the right hand to the body, Dre. He's fatigued. He's making bad decisions. And that power has carried all the way to this 12th round for Lopez. And he's looking for a knockout. Lunges again with the left hand. That leaping left was his signature punch of round number eight. Now he does it with the hook. Goes underneath with a short right uppercut. Josh Taylor just not there here coming down the stretch. Trying to defend his status. His undefeated status. Lineal champion. It's been all Tiafimo here at MSG. 40 seconds left. Let's see if Lopez can seal this fight with another big shot and try to hurt Taylor or put him down. Oh. There's going to be a lot of I told you so coming from Tiafimo and his father. They felt it. They knew it. Amidst reported chaos, oh. look at this finish from Tiafimo. Two right hand headshots in his hometown at the place where he's brought so much drama to the stage. MSG, and he's about to be on top of the world again. At a place where he lost all his belts on a night when he fought with a severe injury that he says almost cost him his life, he returns to New York and puts forth that performance against the undefeated world champion, Josh Taylor. Let's go see those right hands, Dre, that he landed at the end of the final round. Yeah, he's just doing whatever he wants to do at this point. He's leading with big shots. That's a baseball bat kind of shot. Like Taylor couldn't get out of the way. It landed clean, landed flush. Oh, that's Lopez, good eye candy right there, Lopez my man. Lopez showed what he was going to do, and Taylor still couldn't do anything about it. He closed the show in spectacular fashion. He took away everything, took the confidence from Taylor, took the power from Taylor. Taylor didn't look like himself tonight. We cannot blame a layoff. He took the fight, and Lopez shined tonight in an MSG. Lopez in that final round a fight high 21 power punches landed we're going to hear from the judges in a moment as top ranked boxing on espn is presented by autozone get in the zone father and son they've been through so much turmoil the ups the downs and now they are going to feel the high when we return your house is lovely. Thank you. I need to introduce you to someone. He was telling me how Geico makes it easy to save on homeowners insurance, so I was thinking... <laughs> well, hello, old friend. So you have met. Years ago, we both had big dreams about saving people money on their homeowners insurance. Yeah, just look at us now. Your house is lovely. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, nobody heard you. <laughs> okay. <sighs> 
I did hear you. Geico makes it easy to save on homeowners insurance. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. It's the best idea ever. Oh, oh come on. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla was my idea. I did that. Don't play yourself. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. Genius. Can I help you? Um, I wanted to mail this. Okay. Layla is our messenger pigeon. What? Oh my god. This is mostly secure. Mostly. Fairly secure. Yes, sir. This is crazy! You know what else is crazy? That SMS text that he's sending? It's unencrypted. Other people might see your text just like other people might see that letter. You're kidding. No. Can you get the following transformation is real, but temporary. Now any guy can temporarily cover grays, fill in thin patchy areas, and create a fuller defined look for beard and brows. New Just For Men, One Day Beard and Brow. Breakthrough color that stays put for the day till you wash it out. Transform your look. New Just For Men One Day Beard and Brow Color. Beat Up Sweet Chili Lime Sauce has three perfect ingredients. Sweet Chili Lime. People keep telling us sweet isn't an ingredient. How these wings get sweet then? Introduce a new Sweet Chili Lime for a limited time at Buffalo Wild Wings. Why are these so bad? If I would have used Kayak to book our car, we could have saved on our trip instead of during our trip. Ugh. Kayak. Search one and done. Bring my answer here. When you need parts, eBay Motors ensures a guaranteed fit. Hey, Dave. Yep. Wait. How are those new wipers? They're small. Just go to eBay Motors, where the check means a guaranteed fit. Let's ride. Meet your new summer love, Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza, with toppings all the way to the edge and a crispy crust. I love you, Cindy. Sorry, but that commercial voice guy was right. I only love thin crust. Ouch, Billy. It's a hot and ready thin crust summer at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You coming to my after party? Wouldn't miss it. Want me to bring limes? <laughs> That'd be so helpful, Steven. Cuervo tradicional cristalino. Smooth has an edge. Hey, straight ahead on SportsCenter. Full reaction to Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Final. Our Steve Levy, Chris Chelios are in South Florida with the Golden Knights on the brink of hockey history. Plus a no-hit bid by the Bay and rivals back at it in the Bronx. Yankees, Red Sox from the stadium. But now, it's back to Madison Square Garden. Joe Tessitore, Andre Ward on a sparkling night for Tiafimo Lopez in New York City. Guys? Teofimo Lopez and his father, they did everything they said they would tonight. Max and Mark, your final scores. Teofimo Lopez, 117, 111. Teofimo Lopez in the he, he uh, Lopez took the tenth round off. Otherwise, he swept the fight starting in the fourth round. He was losing the fight early. He took both hands and pushed Lope, uh, uh, Taylor down at one point. Taylor hits the ground, gets back up, but it stopped his forward momentum. And from that moment on, Lopez started feeling himself. You saw it in the body language. He's the more resourceful fighter. He beat him up most rounds by obvious margins. 117-111, nine rounds to three. Nine rounds to three in the same ring where 500 and... 61 days ago, he lost to George Cambosis. You've got to look at that fight differently now. He told me I was fighting with an anvil on my chest. Looks like he was. You have to consider this wasn't the layoff. This wasn't anything having to do with Josh Taylor. We've seen Josh Taylor look nothing but masterful. He ran in to Tiafimo Lopez, who might just be as good as he thinks. Let's show you CompuBox numbers because especially the way that he closed the show he had in the 11th and 12th round a 35 to 5 edge in power shots when he knew he was taking it down the stretch. It was a dominating performance by Lopez according to CompuBox a 138 to 60 connect advantage. Let's get the official scores. Ladies and gentlemen after 12 rounds here inside the theater at Madison Square Garden 
We go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Steve Gray scores the bout 115-113. Joe Basquale scores the bout 115-113. And Benoit Roussel scores the bout 117-111. For your winner by unanimous decision. And new WBO Lineal Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, the takeover, Tiafimo Lopez! The takeover, who at one point when he started this ascent to get back said it's going to be now the take back. He's back. He did it. He's on top of the world again. And now he's with Bernardo, the new junior welterweight champion of the world. Bernardo. Teofimo, I know that that's the that's the belt that means a lot to you right now, but... Teo, get the WBO. Wait, but no, 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 that's the ring too, baby. I know, but I gotta wear it right now. Hold on, that's a hundred years, you can't do that. You did, hey, you disrespecting boxing right now. the other belt. You're disrespecting boxing right now. What kind of shit is that? Hey, Teofimo, hold on. We're on the network right now. You, oh, know, but you. Last time you were on, in this baby. ring, you yeah. questioned whether you had it or not. What did you prove you're tonight? Huh? What did you prove yeah. tonight after questioning whether you had it or not last time you were in this ring? Listen, I just want to thank God first. Um, he has given me this glorified win. I'm so thankful right now. Um, it's been a long time, a long time coming. We just beat the number one. Rank guy, number one champion, lineal world champion, Josh Taylor, former undisputed world champion, two-time undisputed world champion, Teofimo Lopez. You talked about how you were comfortable with southpaws. How were you hey, able to decipher Josh? Josh, Josh, I do want to say one thing. I think I let my emotions get the best of me. I do not want to take your life. I want you to go back to your family, my man. And I apologize as a man. All right. Fun games. So fun and games. I, didn't, I never took it to heart anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. It's more than that to hurt my feelings. It's I, more I, than that. I got you. I got you. Walk me through how you were able to decipher his southpaw stance and be so dominant tonight. Um, you know, Josh Taylor, man, he's a tough dude, man. And um, I can see why he beat so many fighters. But you got you to gotta counter the counterpuncher. You got you to gotta outsmart the man and, and get in there, you know. And I, and I did that. I think I did, it, I think I did enough. And this is what it's all about. I, I question myself for a good reason. You guys don't understand. I've always been my worst critic. And you guys got a little glimpse of it. But I just got to ask you one thing and one thing only. Do I still got it? Answer from the crowd. The other thing, you talked about going back to being Gordo tonight. Explain to the fans what that means. Uh, slick boxer Gordo, man. If, if you know, you know. So um, this is all what it is, man. Uh, I've, I'm so grateful. It was just all about fixing what we needed to. That's why I don't leave my coach. I trust in him a lot, and I knew there was something going on, and God showed us the tools that we needed to bring back Slick Boxer Gordo, and we won tonight. Before I go to Josh, I want to ask you one thing. You hold the belts now. Hey, you yeah. hold, he wants to do it again. You hold the belts, though. Who do you want next at 140 pounds? Uh, really, well, my next battle is actually in court for my son, so that's really what's my next battle. I'm not really focused on who I'm gonna fight next. And um, you know, to my son, Liam, Yaddy loves you so much. I told you, punchy, punchy, punchies. <laughs> Thank you very much, Teofimo. Josh, if we could have a, a word with you really quick, Josh. I, I gotta get to Josh. Josh, tonight, first loss of your professional career. What happened? Hey, listen, no excuses. Um, wasn't my best, but listen, better man than one on the night, so I've got no excuses. I prepared to the best of my ability. Felt amazing in the gym, felt brilliant, you know, so I've no excuses. Just he was better on the night tonight, so yeah, as well as for congratulations to Tio Fimo. And uh, I thought it was a close fight, but listen, that 117 111 was way too front, so I'd love to do it again. I'd love to do it again with him. And I definitely know I'm better than that, and I know I can beat him, so yeah, I would love to do it again, but. He's the champ, so the ball's in his court. February 2022 was the last time you stepped into the ring. The layoff, did that have anything to do with it or was it all Teofimo tonight? No, the, the layoff had nothing to do with it. Um, I've got no excuses, you know, just uh, he was better on the night. Um, you know, so I think probably 
I probably most likely be moving up to light weather now. Um, but you know, no excuses. He was a better man tonight. I've no excuses. So well done. 19 times you've come away though, Victor. As a gentleman today, you've done the same. Thank you very much, Josh. Joe, we sent it to you. What a night for Teofimo Lopez. His way, with his style. He is the junior welterweight champion of the world. Back in New York with his crowd. Head over to the app for the state of boxing or stick around for Sports Center right now. What a night at MSG. This.